Hello people, I'm Galadis and I'm back with a do-it-yourself hack project which I think you're going to find very interesting. I am talking about uh, using the Raspberry Pi. You know about the Raspberry Pi. I talked about the Raspberry Pi before when I used this to create an XBMC now named Cody Media Center and you know have all your stuff there and use uh, add-ons to watch uh, free movies and free TV. You can go and check my videos for that. But for now, I think that uh, my next project for this is to show you how to use this to create a retro gaming machine. I'm going to get this and have it to run old games from the 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, old classic games that people played, old people like me played and had fun with in the previous century. Yes, and we're going to do that over here. With the Raspberry Pi 2, going to use it to run old DOS games, uh, old PlayStation games, old Amiga games. Let's find out how. So let's make a list with all the things that we need to use. This is one, the Raspberry Pi 2. If you want, you can get um, a box to put it inside so it will be, I mean, protected somehow. It doesn't matter if you put it like this. Most of the People that are doing hacks like this are just using it like this, you know, with they put gum like this and they stick it on their TV or, or, or something. Anyway, you can use a box if you if you want the extra to go the extra mile. And of course, we need an SD card, a micro SD card. Right now, we're using a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi 2, which goes someplace here. When you get the Raspberry Pi in your hands, you're gonna find out. You're gonna see it yourself. And we're going to use this to put the, the system on. We're going to need to put the system that's going to allow us to use the Raspberry Pi as a, as a retro machine to do all our emulation from the older days. If you want to use an Ethernet cable as well, I'll, I'll show you why while we're doing this. So we, uh, you also need an HDMI cable, of course, to connect the Raspberry Pi to your monitor, to your TV, where you're going to do all your... Uh, retro gaming and uh, you should get an old keyboard and a mouse a usb mouse keyboard like you can see here i have bleh, i have this old keyboard here and you know, this old mouse here which in my case uh, i have the ps2 connection but my secret weapon i have this so I'll put it like this from, I'll put the PS2 here and I have the USB here. And all this will be connected to my Raspberry Pi USB ports like this. And uh, yeah, that's, that's for the keyboard, for the mouse and the Ethernet cable. Let me just put everything on it so you'll get an idea of what you what connectors you're going to use and what else ah, of course we also need some power which you will get by using a micro uh, micro usb connector and uh, it's better to get a decent 5 volts 2 amps uh, adapter a power adapter it's better to get one to power the Raspberry so you will have sufficient power to run the Raspberry Pi 2. The only thing remaining is to put the SD card, but we're going to use the SD card on our computer to set it up, to set the image. We need an image with the software that we need to use to give life to the Raspberry Pi. Let's just do that right now. So what we should do now is put uh, it's uh, use the micro SD on our computer. If you don't have... Uh, an SD port on your computer, micro SD port on your computer, maybe you should uh, get um, a memory reader. You can buy that any place. Go into a computer hardware store and ask for a micro SD card reader. So once you know that you have your SD, we need to go and download the image of the software that we need. And the software that we need is the RetroPy. Just search for RetroPy in Google and you can see here, this is the first page, the RetroPi project, link in the description of this video. Here it is, this is the site from for the RetroPi project, and if you go down here, you can see downloads. You can give a donation, think about giving a donation. This is a very cool project, you should donate. 
what we really need now is the card image here this is for the raspberry pi 1 but we have the raspberry pi 2 and this is the raspberry there it is retro pi sd card image for raspberry pi 2 version 2.6 we press on that and we press on the download here and it will start downloading and as you can see down here it's a big file 569 megabytes i already have this so i will cancel it but in your case you're going to wait and download that right now we also need a tool to get the image and put it in our sd card so that tool is win32 imager which you can uh, google here it is. Here is the first uh, site that uh, you can find this tool. And if you press on download here, wait a bit to download, or you can please use this direct link here. If you have a problem, it says, yeah, there it is. And it's downloading. Once you download it, set it up, and you will get the Win32 Disk Imager which is which i already have you you leave it there download it and set it up for me i already have it so i'll show you what it is and i'm using windows 10 people so i can go here and say win 32 disk image there it is and you can run this i'm going to run it as an administrator i prefer that just to make sure everything works yes and this is the tool I was talking about the Win32 Disk Imager tool. And right now, it already found that my SD card, which I have pl uh, which I plugged into my uh, card reader, is here. So here, it's, uh, I can browse for the image file I got. But have in mind that before we use this tool, let's go back and I'll show you that in downloads, uh, where, where when you get this file it's compressed it's zip file. it's a zip file so you will to you need to uncompress it okay when you uncompress it you get this retropy rpi2 dot image file and this is the file uh, you need to use with win32 disk imager if you didn't if you didn't uncompress it you won't be able to find it here so if I go like this and I have now the retropy there it is and you can you can see it there if you again if you didn't uncompress you won't be able to see it here once i press open there okay once i open there it it puts the image there ready to ready to work and what i need i need to do now is write this image file to the device write this image to, to the device and when I press yes here, it will continue to write that image on my SD card. But I already have it. I have it ready, so I won't spend much time. Let me just press no here. You will press yes, and you will wait for it to finish. Once that is done and you are finished, I'm going to press OK. I'm finished. Exit the program, and you are going to get the micro SD card and put it in your raspberry and right now i'm going to show you what's going on when you boot it up when you boot it up you see this it's loading it's based on uh, linux distribution everything comes together it is called the retro pi retro gaming project on raspberry pi and uh, it's still loading and it will load the graphics user interface which is the emulation station all the all this is configurable you can uh, customizable over here i used my own uh, xbox 360 wired controller put it in the usb and it detected my xbox 360 part and i configured the buttons there as you can see And uh, when I finished configuring, there you are. You can see, you can play the Amiga games. You can play a lot more on this. I mean, this thing, you can configure it, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time to show you everything. Just showing you, I went into the Amiga because I had an Amiga. It was love at first sight with the Amiga. And I'm showing you this. 
you need to find the BIOS, you need to find the ROMs, it's not uh, easy. But let me just show you, because I did it. And there you are. Right now, we should, we should get the brilliant game I was playing when I was younger, Flashback. And there you are. This is the game as uh, it appears. This is the Amiga game and you can play it on your Raspberry Pi. Of course, as I said, you, in order to finish everything and uh, make this uh, RetroPie installation work, you, you need a lot of configuring, it's not a simple task, I don't have the time to show you everything in this video, maybe I'll make other videos as well, you know, uh, saying something about this and saying something about that, uh, but uh, it's a DIY project you should uh, get into and, uh, you know, make your homework get into that page I showed you where you get the RetroPie don't just download it, find find out more or if you find difficulties uh, doing it yourself you could always contact me and we will arrange for uh, I can have it for you fully loaded with games just contact me contact information in the description of this video and we will arrange for you to get this from me. Thanks for watching yet another video. Hope you enjoy my content. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you did, tell others. Tell others about my work. It will help out a lot. See you next time. Bye.